3 News Now reporter Kent Lutzen joins us live now from the Douglas County Courthouse where today Don Klein reiterated that he still stands by his original decision. Kent. Yeah, that's right, Jenny. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says he heard nothing new from Special Prosecutor Fred Franklin that would change his opinion and whether or not Gardner was acting in self-defense on the night of May 30th. Now, uh, Franklin brought up some phone evidence, specifically a comment made about field of fire. Klein was aware of this, stating that message was sent to Gardner from another individual and had nothing to do with the altercation outside the bar. Franklin referenced a tweet from President Trump reading, once the looting starts, the shooting starts. Klein says Franklin's attempt to make a correlation between Gardner's support for the president and a tweet is not evidence, rather speculation. There's a lot of conversation about who was the first aggressor on the night of that shooting. Klein says there is some information that could indicate what state of mind Skurlock was in in the night he was shot. James Skurlock was, was committing a felony. He broke into a building. Uh, tore property up, broke out the windows there, uh, just immediately prior to where he went to the hive. He had previously uh, been involved with his child's mother where he broke into a house and beat her. Uh, and her comment to the police was that his violence is escalating. Frank Franklin mentioned and exchanged about, quote, light him up involving Gardner. Klein had no idea where this comment came from. Klein says he respectfully disagrees with Franklin's opinion, adding he questions the way the evidence was presented to the grand jury. Gardner's lawyers, Stu Dornan and Tom Monahan, sent out a statement today saying, quote, the statements made by Special Prosecutor Franklin did not change our belief in our client's innocence or the belief that he never should have been charged. And Don Klein shares that view. There is no new credible or relevant evidence provided by Mr. Franklin today that Mr. Gardner's state of mind was to harm anyone. The hope for the healing of our community is most paramount as we move forward. Our statements from Sunday stand. Now, we will have more reaction from County Attorney Don Klein later tonight, as well as a recap of the Franklin press conference earlier today. Reporting live in Omaha, I'm Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now.